Welcome back to the Crossline Podcast post game review for the ECBL. Post game uh, review of the Lady Fly Web Dogs versus the Primetime Players. Today I, I have another uh, guest with me today, uh, Mr. Desmond Ford. Des, what's going on, man? Nothing much. Good, good game. I know the game didn't turn out the way you guys wanted it to, but just when you look at this game, uh, what do you feel like it came down to? They hit a lot of open shots, and we had some turnovers that was costly. Every time we turned the ball over, they went down and scored. So a lot of it wasn't that we really played bad. It was just they were making all these shots. When I was speaking with uh, Chris Moore for, for the primetime players, one of the things he said was that, you know, they've been together for almost eight years, and, you know, they play probably about three to four games a week. How do you feel like you guys, uh, like that chemistry part, played a part into this game right here? It was, a, it was a big differential in this game. Like this game here, for example, was the first time this team actually played together outside of practicing yesterday. <clears throat> We've been in a couple of leagues around here, but this team right here is a new team. So just a couple more, a few more games where we just getting together and learning chemistry and understanding each other to get a whole lot better. What do you feel like? When I was looking at the game, it looked like one of the, the advantages that you guys should have had was down in the paint with you. Do you feel like on your end that you was aggressive enough, you know, attacking the basket and, and posting up, or, or how do you feel like your game was? I played aggressive. I think sometimes I kind of forced it, and then I had my mid-range going, so I was starting to set up my mid-range instead of getting inside and staying in the paint. So for me, I got to just, whenever I get my game going inside, I got to stay inside instead of setting up. Do you feel, what do you feel like was the transition defense a big issue for you guys? You know, early on in the game, it looked like they were pushing pushing the pace, getting some easy baskets um, down early. With the transition defense, how, what did you guys say um, in the huddle to kind of like tighten it up? And see, our game plan going in, we understood they was going to get out and run. We didn't have the guys getting back in transition early. So we was teaching, telling each other, the guys down in the paint go rebound, the guards at the top need to go ahead and get back. We wasn't doing that right away, but once we started doing it, that's when we started cutting down on their transition points. The referees, you know, Every game is going to have referees that, you know, you're not going to like always like the calls. They're going to make some great calls. They're going to make some, some calls that you're not going to agree with. But they did let you guys uh, play on. Do you anticipate the uh, physicality to be this way um, going forward for the league? I hope so. I like the physicality. Like I say, they were making some, they were letting some calls go. They was making some calls. But for my style of play, I like to be physical. So. The fish ain't, yeah, it bothered me some, but we got ourselves in such a deep hole at the beginning that it, even if the officials would have gave us every call, we still was mm -hmm. playing from behind. Defensively, I feel like you set the tone. You know, you had a few blocks down in the paint. Um, you, it's going to be tough, you know, giving up 110 plus points a game. Like, how, how important is defense going to be for you guys, and, and what are you got, are going to preach, you know, going forward about the defensive side? Just stand in front of your man. In this league, it's going to be hard to really play help side because you got a lot of shooters. So we just have to play team oriented defense for us to be successful. Mm -hmm. So for you, you know, y'all on, on the, the, the losing end of it tonight, but, you know, going forward. It's always, even if, even in a loss, you can always find a bright spot. You know, it's going to be some things to improve on, but still, what are some things you feel like you guys did a good job of um, in this game tonight? For the most part, I don't believe we ever gave up. I, I feel like we continued to fight, and a couple of our young players stepped up and they brought the energy, which we was trying to get them for a long time to do so. For me, watching those younger guys really step up and play their games lets me know that down the line we're going to be all right. So what is your advice, you know, as you get ready to go back to your team and speak to you guys before you guys all get home? What's your message to the team um, going forward into your team? for the rest of the season. Don't get your head down this one game. We played the, the best team and one of the best teams in the league. So just you a new team, they're not expecting us to win anyway. So we just got to keep coming out, playing ball, and keep trusting in each other and don't give up. Dez, I appreciate you too, oh, man. Uh, best of luck on the season, like I said. It's, it's great for you guys to just even be in this league. So that's a major accomplishment in itself. Um, like I say, you play one of the best teams in the league. You guys, it's something that you can learn from and continue to build upon. But thank you for your time and best of luck on the season. Thank you.